All right, welcome back to another Warpath video, guys. Today we have Operation Hedgemon, I suppose. Now, I've not read too much about this, but we are apparently starting in six minutes and 54 seconds. We're going to quickly go through this. We are Team Rippin, 29 players, server 26, versus a unknown team, server 27, 30 out of 30 players. We are hoping that we are not playing against a bunch of whales from server 27. That is what we're hoping. Here's our team. One of our big players joined this particular team. Hopefully this dude comes online, doesn't miss the event, because that would be a waste of the slot. Three, two, one. 30 minutes to run the battle. Yep. Yep. Transferring. Capture point panel. You can earn capture points by capturing buildings, completing special events, and collecting Raven caches. Kind of already went through that. Okay, map building, airport. Your team will get one airlift the first time it captures an airport, then one more airlift every 15 minutes it occupies the airport. Train station will increase the speed of your team members, command trucks, and troops. Okay, so... Airport for airlifts, train stations for speed. Blockhouse. Capturing blockhouse grants more points than any building. Hertz captures fewer points than blockhouses. Army and supply depot. Grant you and your troops unique buffs. Plaza at the heart of the map. Raven caches, the junk that we want to collect on the map. Transit hubs where we can teleport. Sounds like. Instead of using your own units, you'll need to use unit tokens to redeem units. You'll be given a fixed number. So we going to see how many tokens we have received. Oh, so this is just telling us how to make the unit. Okay, so I have 70.9 thousand tokens. How many units can I make? Okay, so I have 744 components. Basically, I can make, in Conquest, I can make four... 9.1 ground units. Short four guys. Yeah, I'm not sure if we build or if we just capture with the units. I'm assuming we actually build. Can use buffs. Although I'm not going to because I don't think the gold cost for buffs is justified given the minute rewards that you get from this event. <laughs> I think everybody is feeling the same way. Like it, It's probably going to be a lot of fun, but it's like super new. Yeah, it, I agree. It's going to be totally chaotic this first go around. I'm good with that. I'm good with chaos. There's going to be no teamwork and no coordination because none of us are going to know what the heck is going on or what to do or where to go. Uh, well, Snugglies has stuff tagged already, actually. So he's got like build capture first and build capture second, but they're separated by the geography. So uh, why don't I move my base? Yeah, so can the team... I guess you only get 2,000 reserves. Teams run out of reserves. Can they use reserve packs? Oh, uh, do you guys notice that they've added to the map? You can see, like, these little tag bubbles or nearby tags. That's pretty interesting. It says you can click on them, but it doesn't do anything. Little plus icon on the map. Okay, you can zoom it in. So it shows the RPM, repeat per minute. Oh, here we go. Have to burn it. Oh, so confused. Oh, because we have to burn it. Apparently the Raven are a lot thicker. Almost seems like there's no tech research here.
Damn. Curious, like, okay, might see that my jets haven't moved because I've actually... Oh, they are in the same squad preset. Oh, it's because they're in an army. It's the army group is the difference. Some of our team were saying that they basically actually would prefer this event over server versus server. Technically, server versus server. Enemy within sight. I am ready. Why do I have 14 jets and 12? I oh, my barracks capacity. Never finished training all my jets. Okay, so we still do have to build and burn. We're going to go all the way to the top now. We're gonna be super aggressive. Yes. This is so weird. You can loot nodes manually. I don't know what that means. I have an idea of what he means. Like for the such a weird map because you can basically like go in the inner loop makes a circle around and then the outer loop makes a circle around I don't know it's kind of strange Base is incoming. I am ready. Any 
your shells? Like, actually, like, rocket trucks would be really beneficial here. And maybe let the fast groups... ...go around the sides. Goodness, just like well, I can't build the turret because everything's just in my way. Oh, there he goes. Lots of light tanks. I guess we're gonna find out if dual fighters is good. So far, I think I'd prefer 9.1. Like that jet's just getting nuked. I can't control it. Getting nuked by the ATG. Wow, look at that. Where's all the Howie? All right, we're just gonna auto attack and all this. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw my air back here as well.
And we're just going to aggressively push. I don't even know where my base is at. It's still like way back. Where's my infantry? Huh. Ah. All right. There's my infantry. Okay, auto attack. Bring the jets in. I use the Howie Rally. Got my infantry on the base. Base is dead. Unit's still looking good. Nice. We're just going to keep pushing. I am red Roger. A lot of infantry there. Alright, we're just going to auto-attack our way. Are we doing on troops? I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I'm going to bring my base forward now while we have an opportunity. Totally want to kill that howitzer. Can't click! Can't see my uh, infantry either. There we go. We're going to start killing some bases. Our team is ripping. Come on, infantry. Kill out Ellie. Ah Come on, Enfy. Can't get where we need to go. Speed is king. Move forward, Spartans. We're just going to kill them all. How big is that one? 285? Might need to refresh my infantry here soon, but let's hit it anyway. He's only got like two units. How strong can he be? Not that strong. Ooh, poor, poor guy. All right, we're just gonna make our way. I we need that train station. My base is like moving like a sloth. Not put my jets over a base. How about that? How big is that base? 200? Oh, that's... Weak sauce. Let's kill it. If no quarter, kill them all. Alright, where's my infantry? 213, no problem. Pew, pew, pew. See ya. All right, goodbye, helicopter. Na 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 na. Oh, this is total chaos. 
I don't even know what the team is doing, but apparently we're just like massacring everything. People will fear our names. All right, this guy's got some. How are we going on? Oh, is there a safe zone? What is that? What is that? There's like a safe zone. Let's get away from the safe zone border. God, my base is taking absolutely forever. I like seriously need to retrain some units. We are the masters of Theater of Conquest. Now we are the masters of Operation Hegemon. Name United Power will be um, all of gold tier. Yes, I don't care about legend. That is true. I am now, they have the option, however, to go basically through. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, oh, we just made a mistake. We can't, the, the center opens. So like, actually, we need, like, my base needs to be all the way up here. Two thousand kills, six hundred eighty losses. Yeah. <laughs> I already am back up to two thousand reserves, though. It doesn't even matter. Okay, so we're burning the train station, apparently. My base is taking forever. Like, I'm just going to bring it back to the train station. I So yeah, I'm assuming that the center is only open through safe zones. Unless the safe zones drop. I'm assuming that's not the case. Notice the shield icon? That's the baby zone. Yeah, so we, we need bases there and we can't get there. Airlift? Only troops can enter the central central cent, uh, central plaza. An airlift anywhere seems like. I'm gonna make our bases faster, I guess. A good point. How oh, good someone said light tanks are kicking butt. Eh, mostly it's my howitzers and my planes.
Okay, so we have more troops. Center Plaza, I guess. Okay, so bases are faster. Yeah, we are uh, slaughtering them, it seems like. Seems like they're they're trying. So, how durable are bases? Question, because I could leave one howitzer basically behind me. Probably leave both howitzers behind, actually. They're going... Uh... Going east. Okay, so whoever opens the central plaza, or whoever owns the central plaza, we're getting basically... Oh, man. I didn't even realize that they came. Holy moly. Killed both my howitzers. Oh, dang. I'm about to get blown up. I'm going to disband. And we're going to retrain everything. Wasn't paying attention. All right, fighter jets go. Oh, nuked their bomber. No contest. Oops. Sorry. I am ready. Seems like the training speed is pretty good. Do you want to make a squad preset with my Howie? Necessary. Yeah, I don't even know what to do as far as like Raven and stuff. But we need to get this, uh, Blockhouse here.
I don't want to move my base. I'm going to move my base like right in front of the bridge. Like it's my bridge. Like I'm the angry troll. <laughs> my big King Kong gorilla is blocking the bridge. All right. So we can safely take this blockhouse here. So the thing, I think the thing to do good on this map would be to like figure out the order that you're going to capture the nodes at first. So that way you could basically have a hold on more than the enemy, essentially. Faster. So you don't have to like go back and forth. Like moving inefficiently is a huge problem. And then like airlifts, I think are gonna be important. So even though we have the center, though, if they make faster progress capturing nodes, then we are going to catch up and turn points. So we are going to have to loop around the outside. Right, so now we can take the... The so planes are doing pretty good. Now they're caught up in points. Got some bases over here. I am ready. Commander, our garrison will defend us. Oh, I see. So you put your troops like inside the circle, and then you press tel relocate, and that probably teleports to you. It actually requires quite a bit of teamwork. I am ready. Teleport on the other side of the map? No. Only air oh, you can only airlift within your lines turret.
Like, they probably won't kill Wraith. I doubt they can kill him. I am ready. Like, we're just chilling out in the center here. Oh, they're doing pretty good damage, actually. That's surprising. How many airlifts do we get, and how often I forget? There's one there. Every 15 minutes, I get another airlift. Shocked that they actually did so much damage to the base. I wonder if bases are limited slightly. 1.4 billion. My normal base HP is 1.1. So we have the armory. Super base damage 15%. That's a lot. A lot. Like the only thing, so they're working on the uh, supply depot here. I guess while my base is sitting, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Get some light tanks here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I think they're making good progress over there. This team is uh, not really doing much compared to what we're doing. Seem like. Okay, I have three airlifts, so they do just accumulate. A little over 50% of the way through the event. This load ought to keep us busy. I am ready. Oh, this is locked. Is this locked? That's so going to open. That's going to happen. Is it already open or does it lock? Really can't tell. Assuming that it's locked. Okay, they're working on the supply depot. We got one Raven General, probably. I have just one left, and then we can get that. Sounds like we have an already group. Uh, well, rocket launch. Oh, well, that's the Moscow team. I am ready. Seems like for whatever reason they want to fight at this uh, train station, which actually is kind of like stupid because they should just go 
East, capture the blockhouse, supply depot, and the armory. Fighting us over here at the train station is really just allowing us to win, basically. Maybe, maybe their team gave up already. I don't even know. That must be a different team. Center's open. I am ready, Planes count? Like they're just literally ignoring the center. Thirty second ETA. I think we basically got that. I don't think these guys know what to do. Meanwhile, we're capturing the supply depot. And I will soon be able to airlift my base elsewhere. There we go. Oh, I see. So the team that captures it first and then it locks for 15 minutes. Okay. I am ready. So it's done. We've captured it. We got the points and we permanently have those points per minute locked in. Nothing they can do. Haha. <laughs> Okay, let's go nuke this fighter jet with both of mine. Bam! Oh, he's dead. Alrighty. And pretty soon we're going to have the Y-Depot. Like, I, I think I have this event figured out. I think what you want to do is basically have your biggest whales hold the front line capture points. Alright, we're gonna go molest these artillery with light tanks. Can. Even though my light tanks are almost dead. Oh, this group's gone. I'm actually going to bring my base. Up. Might as well do something for now. I don't even know what he means by points.
five minutes to collect a rate. I mean, we're doing pretty good considering like the, there's 20 minutes left and the, their entire team seems focused at this train station for whatever reason. Like, I wonder if I can auto attack. Do you want the blues? What's up? <laughs> that's a mistake. Oh no, that's a mistake on my part. <laughs> Run! Only 15 minutes left now. There's no possible chance for them. Wow, they even killed that base down there. Like, I wonder if there's like event specific rankings uh can't tell battles battle reports i am ready i have one group in the center Or forty eight. Oh, I've got thirty thousand points. <laughs> Seventy two thousand thousand dang. I'm intoxicated eight forty five thousand. Was it like collecting resources, like oh, really yeah. good or something? You collect a resource. Oh, only two fifty points. Yeah. 
Can you use that to collect? Nope, oh, has to be a ground unit. Basically, you can collect these resources with troops, almost like sending out a collection troop. Kind of interesting. Is that the only place where those are? No, they're kind of all over the map. Out by my base. Any? So the heaviest concentration of ore on the kind of up here, I guess, in the corner. Un. I guess after these are done collecting, like I'd rather go up to that top left corner. I am ready. Do you want the blues? Five minutes to collect. So 2,000 points isn't like a ton. So if you did five minutes, two troops, approximately 5,000 points. That, that's a lot, I guess. I'm assuming they can kill your unit while it's collecting to stop the collection. Well. What's up? I think these guys are pretty much done. Maybe. They're blocking us from building. And they're going that way. Oops. Can I airlift and do a in progress build? Seems like I can. No, you can't. I don't want to airlift over here. Uh, just sitting at the train station. I am ready. This might be a mistake. Oh, my Howie is, uh, got plenty of reserves, though. Let's go. 
Here, come take this turret. We're gonna try and do it in eight minutes. It's like out of that crazy zone. But I actually think my units should be strong enough to do this. Find out. Oh yeah, double light tank protecting my alley. Nice. Nice. No popping out for you. Let's let my light tanks auto attack. Oh man, my light tanks are getting nuked. Hi, an ATG. Goodbye, ATG. Success. All right, let's bring my base to the big old front line over here. Cover me. I am working on it. Awesome. Four and a half minutes remaining. On base. A million years for my base to get here even though we have the train station which makes bases i don't know how much faster does it say 10 percent. i would expect my truck to be a little faster than it, especially with my christmas decorations going on i don't care yeah, plenty. I've got full reserves according to this event, so I will gladly just let my howitzers sit out. No problemo.
Blocker build. <laughs> oh, I don't care. I don't care. Yes? Yeah. Let's just let my howitzers take on an army. Like, why not? <laughs> Run! Here. Ten seconds. Oh, look, they're all coming here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two. Sweet. It is ours. I hope they attack me in the remaining two minutes. It would be epic. One and a half minutes. It would be nice. I don't think it's gonna happen. Here they come. But they're gonna spit they're gonna attack Lopez. <laughs> I'm so sad. I just have to kill him the old fashioned way. I'll even take some losses and have less troops. Do it. 45 seconds. I'll even put my air away. <laughs> they did it! 30 seconds. Let's see how my base does with two light tanks, two howitzers, and infantry. Oh man, there are definitely, uh, my base is, uh, wow, they've, uh, really capped, like, skin sets or something in this event. Bases are weak. Two seconds left, I cleared it all. Ha! Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. But holy cow, bases are weak. Now, to be fair, I didn't have Vox in my base. I normally do. And I would normally have the Super Heavy in my base with the base shield. And I didn't. But that was pretty weak because my base has been attacked in Moscow without either of that. And my base is much stronger. So, I don't know. That seemed pretty weak. Maybe skin sets aren't applied. MVP, Snugglies. Go figure. Go figure. Okay, so, yeah, 600,000 points from buildings, 76,000 points from Raven Cash. That's why Snugglies is probably the MVP. Probably sat there and collected everything. <laughs> points from kills, 300,000. 33,000 kills to 11,800. Airlift count, 15 versus 5. Central Plaza point, 240,000 to zero. That's a significant amount. Matter of fact... Other than the kills, that's probably a pretty good to the majority reason why we won. Okay, we can see the points by person. So we have Snugglies, 91,000. They hit Big Daddy Wraith's base at least twice. So I think he had a lot of kills. Can't click on it and see specifics. I came in third. Toxicated Ape, he was the army group at the center who captured the Central Plaza. All four times. Yeah. I don't know if that shared mine or everybody.
thing is sharing just mine. That sucks. Okay, anyway. Who did we actually... Uh, Server 27, 27NT. Don't know who they are. 5856 kills, 2068 losses. I kind of hope that doesn't go towards our profile, though. Because that's so messy. I could buy KD ratio. Contribution points, kills. Oh. Oh, contribution points from kills. Contribution points from capture. Okay. That's it. That was Operation. However the heck you pronounce it, Hegemon. Sounds like a Pokemon. Let's see if that shows up. Oh, that's what that shares. Okay. And the team chat goes away after the event. The battle reports from that so like there's the report so actually yeah so that is actually weak so 64 percent of my base uh 678 million that is correct 1500 kills but i would have to say based on that performance it seems like maybe they're not applying skin sets and things in the event and then as far as rewards okay not too bad we got 9,000 wrenches 14 coupons 800 contribution points. That's not bad. And um, yeah, that was for the victory. And my rewards, we got four refined component material picks, some coupons, group expansion. But they're okay. The rewards are decent for an hour fight every two weeks. It's completely worth doing. That was a lot of fun. It was a little chaotic. Okay, and then they send you a holistic report. But it doesn't show me specifically what unit. Three thousand kills, fifteen hundred. Yeah, but it is so uh, yeah, okay, so this is snuggle your sports. So he did uh that mine. Let's see his. Yeah, so see he was a devious little guy and he collected the entire event, fifty five thousand. That's why he took MVP. And funny enough, we got some bases like. <laughs> Let's go over here real quick. So it does not reset your. Hopefully, these guys aren't trading kills. That would be. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot. I had a uh, setup for uh, base defense. That was stupid. Oops. I, I just threw a, a level 1 7.2 infantry at his base. <laughs> oh. I forgot I completely changed my army. I've been running infantry the majority of Moscow, and then I recently, just before this, I reset my troops and set up with the super heavy. And apparently I just gave him a bunch of free kills. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, thoughts on the event, though? Uh, it was fun. It's very fast-paced. It's uh, There's not... There's some strategy involved. I think you need to know kind of the map layout and a, have a linear flow through all the nodes. So you're not going back and forth, but you can airlift around the map. But uh, for the first event... 
Uh, I think as teams do this event more, we're going to see teams get better and then the event will get harder. I think the first one is the hardest because it's just total chaos and nobody knows what's going on at all. Um, so anyway, uh, thoughts? I like it. It's I, I'm glad it's only every two and a half, two weeks, though. It's not something I really care to do all the time, but it's a good break from the normal theater of conquest. I don't think I would prefer it over theater of conquest. Uh, it's just kind of really, it's a little, I don't want to say it's too fast paced because I guess theater of conquest is a challenge in that it lasts 30 days and it's a huge drain physically for everybody where this is like, Almost like I'm gonna just use Battlefield 2042 as the other game I play as a comparison. I can log in and I can play really hard for an hour. Stop. And it's like that. You know, not an event still going on for 30 days. Um, I can put the game down when I'm done. But that I like about it. That's what's hard about theater. So anyway, guys. Thumbs up for me. Good job, Lilith. Adds another fun dynamic to the game, especially one that doesn't use... Uh, I don't think it used resources to train troops. I didn't catch that. I'd have to go back and look in the video. But anyway, a lot of fun, and hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a very long hour and 45 minute video with 30 minutes of me just like building my troops, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll have more of these next time the event comes around two weeks from now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.